this corner rack. And that should be it. Then we have some ceiling work. Scrape sand paint. All right. All right, what you gotta do is scrape all this crap out of here. But, get this clean. You gotta take your time, scrape it all nice and clean, okay? I'm gonna get the shop back, I'm gonna suck this up, spray it with some Fantastic. Yeah, man, you gotta prepare this. If you don't have a clean, dry surface, your caulk is not gonna set up the right way. All right. All right, you get it the cleanest you can with what you're working with. Some of these stains you're not getting out. I'm not here to reglaze the uh, tub. I'm here to put a fresh caulk line all the way around, caulk bead. Okay. Got to clean the floor. Only near the tub. I'm not here to clean the entire bathroom floor. Okay. Make it clean all the way around. Then we're going to tape it out. And we're going to give it a nice caulk job. All right. All right, that's clean. I'm going to let that dry a little bit more, okay? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start scraping the ceiling. I'm going to bring the shop vac attachment up there, scrape it easy so I can get all those paint chips right into the shop vac. Try to make this as neat as possible. Do a little light sanding. We'll see if it needs a skim coat. When that's done, then obviously I'll hit this once with the shop vac. Clean it up, tape it, and we're going to caulk that last. Remember, do everything at the top first because it falls down. You know what I mean? Common sense. All right, stay tuned. All right, what you want to do is obviously clean out the joint. And what I do is I like to tape it. And I use painter's tape. So let's get to it. When you're putting the tape in and you get to edges, use the trusty old DeWalt or whatever knife you have. Get yourself some straight edges, then run your tape along. Get nice clean corners. Okay. This bead is going to be a little bit thicker than normal because going to try to hide some of those imperfections in the tub. All right, it's all taped up, ready to go, okay? All the way around, make it as even as possible. It's all scraped and sanded. I'm just going to mix up some of my five-minute set. I keep it a little Ziploc. All right, my little pan. I'm just going to skim that. All right, the ceiling is done. We're going to let that set. Okay, skin coat's nice. A little light sanding and we're gonna paint. You sometimes have to give those two or three coats the spots because it, it, it shows through. All right, we're ready with that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean up all this mess. Always clean this guy out before it hardens, okay? You can put the big chunks in the garbage and then rinse it out in the sink. But keep this thing clean. If you get into a jam, you bring it home, you can chip this stuff out. All right, so let me just take care of that, and uh, caulking and painting will be next. Start in the corner, okay, and you want to come across. You want to do a nice, slow, even pace, and you squeeze that gun slow. You don't want too much of it coming out, okay? You start it, and you run it. Always keep a paper towel in the other hand so when you when you have to stop you grab it with the paper towel and just wipe off the tip so it doesn't leak 
or leak, but just drip all over the place. Start, start from the other corner, I mean the same corner, and just come the other way. Don't worry if you put a little extra in because we're going to wipe it when we're finished. Try to stay neat with this stuff, clean. You get it all over your fingers, it's a pain in the ass to get off. Okay, now that it's all in, you know, it's not perfect, it's a little sloppy, but that's fine. Because when you're done, you're going to run your finger along the edge. And all the excess, you're going to just wipe off, okay? You're going to do it like this. You could wet your finger. Got my fingers wet a little bit. Okay? And all you're going to do, you're going to go in the, in the corner here. You're going to push down, and you're going to ride this all the way across. A nice even pressure okay start from this corner and when you hit the when you when you reach your line lift up just like that boom and it blends right in okay you're gonna wipe this off with a napkin and you're gonna go around doing the same thing all the way down and across and up there okay so let me do it we'll be back in a minute Okay, once you're finished, you run your finger across, make it nice and even, okay? And you don't want to let this dry, then take off the tape. Believe it or not, you want to take it off as soon as you're finished. But be careful, go easy. Because if you let it dry and go to pull it off, you're going to pull some of the uh, caulk away from the wall in the tub, and it'll look bad. Go nice and easy. Nice position this. Just bear with me here. Gotta use two hands. You wanna go easy, take the little sections and grab it with the other hand. Don't let the cork touch anything because it's still wet on the tape. See it's a pretty good line there. Okay, and I'll take the bottom off. Alright, you should be good to go. Alright, it's finished. It's got a nice bead around it, nice and even, okay? I'm working on the seal, I'm gonna let that dry. Finish off with the paint. I appreciate you watching. Comment below if you've ever used tape to caulk your, uh, your tub or tub jobs. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like the video. I appreciate you watching and I appreciate all the new subscribers. Have a nice day, we'll catch you on the next one. All right, we're finished with this bathroom job. I just have to show this dog. What's Mia. It? Mia, she's beautiful. Come here, little baby. Look at that. Do you think I did a good job in the bathroom? That's I did, nice huh? That's a All right. <laughs> You're a good girl. Let me have your paw. Huh? It's a good sweetheart right here. All right, so I'm looking forward to coming back to see the dog. All right, cool. All right, we'll talk to you soon.